welcome to our English class. This year we chose to discuss about some topics, uh, physics, mathematics, chemistry, all in English. What kind of uh, topics did you choose? I'm going to discuss about uh, the principal points of a projectile motion. A projectile is an object on which the only force is gravity. So, um, this is our frame of reference and uh, this is our projectile. Uh, if, we, uh, if we throw it uh, at an initial velocity, V, an angle, eta to the horizontal, we can see that uh, it follows this trajectory that is a parabola. Um, we can consider to describe this motion uh, the components of velocity or also uh, the components of acceleration g that is constant in uh, all the parts. Um, so, considering these two vectors v, i and v, x, um, we can see that acceleration g influences only v, v y and Vx is constant in uh, all the time, uh, during all the tra trajectory. For example, at <coughs> this point, we can see that Vy, magnitude of Vy, is less than in uh, this first position, but Vx is the same. So, total velocity that always tangent to the trajectory is this and changes its magnitude and its direction. Uh, in this particular point, that is the vertex of the parabola, dy is equal to zero and there's always uh, g and this is vx. So uh, in this point, v equals to Vx, only in this point. Uh, in the second part of the trajectory, for example in this point, we have acceleration g and Vx, and uh, we can see the acceleration pulls down the object, so velocity dy has the same direction of g and now also the same words. So total acceleration, uh, velocity, is this. is always uh, tangent to the trajectory. And uh, uh, now Vy has a negative magnitude because uh, it points to the ground. Um, but why, uh, but why velocity changes its direction and uh, its magnitude? Uh, we can consider this right angle triangle. This is theta, this is Vx, this is Vy, and this is uh, V. Um, if we change theta, for example, if it reduces, and this is uh, theta prime, um, using uh, the Pythagoras theorem, we can see that V is less than, uh, that V prime is less than V. Or if theta increases, And uh, this is theta second. We can see that v second has a different direction because theta uh, has changes, uh, but has also a different magnitude. And now v second is greater than v. But we can also uh, explain this change in 
in direction and this map and in magnitude of velocity, considering the components of acceleration g. acceleration and this is AC the centripetal acceleration we can see that A, uh, AT influences V only in its magnitude and AC influences V direction in its in, uh, its direction uh, so, for example, in uh, this point, uh, acceleration is always G. Uh, but if we consider the components, uh, A, C, A, C, We can notice that uh, V prime is uh, less than C and there is also a different direction influ influenced by uh, AC that attracts in, uh, it into um, the curvature center in this point. The curvature center is the center or a circumference tangent to the parabola in uh, any point. Um, we know that G is constant. So if direction change, change uh, during the trajectory, um, AT and AG must change uh, their direction and their magnitude. For, uh, um, so there is also this acceleration changing, uh, this jerk, um, that influence velocity. In fact, we can notice uh, when we throw an object uh, into the air, that in uh, this zone of the path near to the vertex, the object has, uh, doesn't change very quickly its veloci velocity but changes its direction very quickly. Uh, more quickly, for example, than uh, in this zone. Because uh, in this zone, uh, AC um, is greater than uh, here, for example. This is G. And this is a uh, C and a C. Uh, uh, we can see that um, a C prime um, is less than uh, a C uh, zero. But uh, a t prime is greater than a t zero. 
In fact, in this zone of the parabola, velocity changes its magnitude more quickly 